Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Aquarius for May 9th through to the 15th, 2022. Hope you're all doing well this week. Spring weather. And I would like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed, and left a comment. Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated. Oops. And your first card out is a Seven of Rods. A little bit of conflict there. Defending yourself, perhaps, against something. That's all right. And the Two of Pentacles. So, juggling something. And it's not easy sometimes doing, trying to keep everything on an even keel here. And the Eight of Swords. So you're feeling bound, tied down. Not sure how to get out of the circumstances that you're in. Just feeling held back. Wow, a lot of swords for you in the beginning of this week. And the Five of Swords. So said there's a lot of them in here for you unfortunately which is not overly bad it means something's wrong in your life and you're going to take a better look at whatever it is and choose your battles always but yeah looks like you're uh, Got some definitely things weighing on your mind here. And <laughs> the Knight of Swords coming in to save your day. So it's very clear, precise. Almost sometimes jumps when he shouldn't, but try not to. Try to pick your battles wisely. So it looks like you're having uh, a few go-arounds this week. Standing your ground, making your your words count. And an earth sign. So this could be a, a parent or a good friend, co-worker grandparent somebody with wisdom that cares a lot maybe you should uh, maybe you're thinking about trying to do some sort of uh, new enterprise in your life and people are giving you a little bit of static over it so you're not quite sure you're getting no backing so which way to go whether you should or shouldn't but once you take the blindfolds off and cut yourself free, you'll realize that you're going to have to make a decision anyhow. You're going to have to step forward into the great unknown, which is always scary for anybody, irregardless of age. You know, but you'll do all right because this person will give you a little bit of guidance or in uh, some areas in your life. That's um, your signs are your Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And your two of rods. So there you are. you got your whole decisions and your life is in your hands. You're going to make your decisions. You know, it's sprouting to life. You're uh, 
just sort of waiting to see which way is going, which way is to go is better for yourself, which is good because at the beginning of this, I don't think you're overly happy where you're at right now. Ah, uh, yes. And the Ace of Swords. So definitely clarity coming in for you in some form of your life. It's time to, you know, heal your heart and cut your ties and you know, got a problem, sleep on it. Definitely think about what you're doing. But uh, you're going to make the decision. You're going to make it clear and decisive and not going to take any any guff from anybody for any of it. You want to make your own decisions. Oh yes, and the tower. So there you are. Something had to come to an end. Now that could be a friendship or a job or a relationship. Something has to stop in order for something new to start. So, And that's life in general, no matter where you are, for all of us. We have to let something go to let something new in. So, and your Nine of Cups. So there you are. You're contemplating on, on how much you have and what your wishes are. And are you moving in the right direction? And I think you are here for sure. I believe that is what the cards are trying to tell you. And there's your Emperor. He's, uh, whatever demands he's putting on you, you know, or you're putting on yourself or others, ask the question is, would you do it? And the other person may be asking you that question, you know, for you to answer for your, for your own peace of mind. So... You're going to go in the right direction here. Yeah. And the King of Cups. So, water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And he is, uh, he's a motivator. He's motivated to step forward and perhaps give you a helping hand here you know maybe he's going to tell you to pull out all the stops and uh, pick which way you're going I think you've got a, a really good clear idea of what's coming at you here this week for sure you've, you're uh, making your decisions from the heart which is good sometimes our mind will put obstacles in our ways that really aren't there at all and that in itself is sometimes a tragedy because that's when we spend most of our life later going well if I would have done that way back when all right and I'm going to shuffle and pick an angel oracle card for you and see what kind of clarity perhaps I can give us on what this week holds in store for you. But like I said, you're going to have to let something go here, or maybe you already have. And now you're wondering if perhaps you've made the right decision for yourself. But most definitely, you have. You know, you had a few hurdles that you had to get over and in order for it to happen. And you've probably upset some people there. But that's the way it goes for all of us. We have to just step back and watch what... If we don't put our foots forward, we don't get anywhere. So, all right, let's see what the angel works card has for you. You are a spiritual teacher. 
you have the abilities to count to counsel others sorry about that <laughs> and help them awaken their spirit gifts and divine life mission so you're a very wise person people come to you and ask you questions and And it has a, it doesn't matter how old you are either because just because you're a certain age doesn't make you not know things thing all things happen in our lives so we all have some sort of wisdom or experiences that we've had and we don't wish them upon anybody else so we will uh, give our advice and sometimes if it's not even needed we'll give it but it's out of goodness of our heart so all right, Aquarius, I hope this helps you have a little clarity for this week. And I want to thank you all again. And I will talk to you next week. Till then, take care, stay safe, and bye for now.